over jdipainting.com. Um, we're going to uh, troubleshoot this Greco 190 ES. Um, about to uh, put some direct juice straight to the motor to see if we can bypass the circuit board. Um, basically, we're just trying to find out if we can get a um, response out of the engine. If the motor is completely dead, we'll know that by putting direct fire to the motor. Anyway, so what we've done is you unplug your main power to your circuit board. This is your transducer, which controls your fluid control, your prime, and all that. Anyway, so as you can see right here on the pump motor, sorry, I got a bunch of junk in the way. I've got a uh, lead going to the hot. And a lead going to the negative. And I would not suggest you try this at home. This is not, you know, professional practices by any means, I wouldn't say. So, yeah, so here we go. Bear with me a moment and I want to pause this, fire it up, and if we can get some juice on it, then um, I'll let you see it run. So as you can see here, if I put juice directly to this engine or motor excuse me you can hear that it's seized up the fan the cooling fan wants to spin but the motor does not so our next um, next thing we're going to do is try to see if there is some sort of obstruction that would possibly make this motor lock up other than a mechanical failure um, it sounds mechanically stuck um, it's, it's nothing with the electronics obviously because it's still wanting to actuate um, so the next thing we're going to do is actually pull this fluid section on this pump and see if we can spin it without without actually um, so we're going to take the whole fluid section out of this Graco 190 ES and um, see if we can get it to actuate without the the fluid stroke on it, or the, the piston stroke connected to it. We'll be back. Alright, so here is a main shot of the actual case to the actuating um, transfer or transfer case that turns the uh, pump or actuates the pump itself. And right here is the main motor shaft. Um, and this thing has been serviced recently. I mean, you can just tell by the oil in it. I mean, it's still brand new. Um, anyhow, so what we're going to do is uh, put some more fire to this motor. And I will let you see what a complete engine failure or motor failure looks like or sounds like, should I say. Um, all right, so here we go. Bear with me. So as you can hear, it's trying to force itself to move and there's just something stuck inside of there. Um, it's beyond my uh, understanding of what causes this, but I do know this, that that's not normal and it's, you know, this thing's gonna need a new motor. So, uh, it says part number 233815. If any guys can point me in the right direction other than Portland Compressor for a replacement motor, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks and thanks for watching.